a remarkable breakthrough. CIA Director Michael Pompeo secretly met with North Korea leader Kim Jong-un over Easter weekend. And now this, Senate Democrats now threatened to block his nomination as Secretary of State for not disclosing the meeting. But the president is saying this. Mike Pompeo met with Kim Jong-un in North Korea last week. The meeting went very smoothly. A good relationship was formed. Details of summit being worked out now. Denuclearization will be a great thing for the world, but also for North Korea. Let's bring in a former deputy assistant to George W. Bush. He's Brad Blakeman. Brad, what's your reaction to this meeting? I think it's it's a tremendous breakthrough. Uh, what did uh, the Senate expect Pompeo to do? He's the head of our CIA. He is the nominee by the president's secretary of state. Time is going through the hourglass. The meeting must occur. Uh, we have a lot riding on it. So does the entire Pacific Rim and our allies in the region. So they should be heralding this president and his ability to make this great breakthrough that hadn't been made by anybody, including Barack Obama, for eight years. You know, but the Democrats are saying there's going to be incompetence, there's going to be problems with these meetings. We've got Tim Kaine saying that, uh, Robert Menendez saying it. We haven't seen this level of contact with the, between the U.S. and North Korea in about 18 years, when Secretary of State Madeleine Albright under Bill Clinton met with Kim Jong-il in North Korea. Uh, so what do you think of the Democrats? M maybe they're going to try to muck things up here. Well, I think they're they're rooting against our country, and and that's that's sad to say. We are on the cusp of what could be a tremendous breakthrough, something that uh, we've waited for decades. Uh, we could put an end to this war finally between South Korea and North Korea. We can make the peninsula nuclear free. We can bring them up to the 21st century. Uh, for Democrats not to praise this president and to and to hope for success only gives fodder to those uh, who are seeking to uh, harm us, including. Uh, an adversary or an enemy in North Korea. Okay, there's a, been a lot of action over on the peninsula there. Uh, Kim Jong-un in a flurry of meetings with China, the North Korea and South Korea possible truce talks, Japan's leader now conferring with President Trump. Uh, all this, uh, uh, is this a sign that the policies are working? Remember, Brad, a week after the Trump administration launched that tariff fight with China, China hauled in mm -hmm. North Korea's leader a week later. Absolutely. And, and people said, oh, China is not going to exert pressure. China uh, is, the, is the benefactor of North Korea. They couldn't exist a week without China. China was the proper party to hold their feet to the fire. And you notice when the president did it on North Korea, when the president did it on, on sanctions and tariffs, what did China do? They came to the table and gave something up. Why? Because they knew they were acting badly. So this president is focused on the Pacific Rim. Obama was not. China was able to build military bases out of the South China Sea, was able to screw us on, on currency and on intellectual property and on tariffs. And the president says, you know what? There's got to be an end to it. And he's finally making breakthroughs. Republicans and Democrats should applaud this president. Let's turn to the passing of First Lady Barbara Bush. The mother of a president and two governors, her son and former president George W. Bush, speaking with Maria Bartiromo, talking about the legacy of his mother. She was warm and wonderful till you got out of line. <laughs> and she wasn't too warm and wonderful. Now, she was awesome. She was funny and yeah. fierce and set her mind. She yeah, was a I, great role model for me, for sure. I learned how to be a first lady. Were you able to say goodbye? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, in person and then on the phone. Laura and I uh, uh, went over to see her uh, a week ago Saturday, and uh, we had a wonderful visit. She was strong, lucid. Uh, funny, uh, still. Funny. She and I were needling each other, and the doctor <laughs> came in, and she turned to the doctor and said, you want to know why George W. is the way he is? And the doctor looked somewhat surprised. She said, because I drank and smoked when I was pregnant with him. <laughs> oh, That's hilarious. Yeah, no, she's funny. She had great faith. She truly believes that uh, she is. Uh, there's an afterlife, that she'll be uh, wonderfully received in the arms of a loving God, and therefore did not fear death. And as a result of her soul being comforted on the deathbed, my soul is comforted. <laughs> Brad, what was Barbara Bush like? Any special memories? Yeah, I mean, what you saw is what you got. Uh, when you did good, she praised you. When you did bad, you got her wrath. And uh, she was the real deal, whether she was the first lady, whether she was a mother. The most important job for Mrs. Bush was her family. And she had a political family. She had her family. 
uh, and also she had America. And her issue in America was literacy. She believed that every child and every adult should have the ability to read and write and better themselves. And then she took that globally. She is a person who's central casting as a first lady. She really cared about our country. She cared about her family. And I'll tell you right now, she didn't want anybody mourning. She wanted her life celebrated. She was a blessed person with a blessed family. She had a great husband who she met as a teenager, 73 years together. She lived in a great country, and she served a great people. And, she lived a full life. And now we're hearing First Lady in breaking news, Melania Trump will attend Barbara Bush's funeral mm -hmm. in Houston. Uh, joining uh, the First Lady will be uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton and Barack and Michelle Obama. Your reaction? I think that's, that's tremendous. It shows the, the respect that, uh, that Barbara Bush had. Uh, Barbara Bush believed that uh, we needed to compromise with one another. We needed to reach uh, a goals together. Um, she was not particularly fond of the partisanship over the uh, past decade, and um, uh, that disappointed her. But I think uh, Mrs. Bush left a great legacy for all Americans to aspire to the best you can be, and she did that by example. Thank you, Brad Blakeman. Good to come in. Good to see Pleasure. you and having you come in. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.